Hey team, this is Evolve Strong with CJ, and this is CJ. So listen up, as we begin to lose weight, as we begin to increase muscle, as we begin to accomplish the goals we wish in regards to fitness, our bodies, sacrifice is part of the process. You have to sacrifice certain things in your life in order to achieve that which you wish to achieve. I hope you lose 10 pounds and five inches in 28 days. That's my, that's what I do. That's what we do here at Evolve. Now, with that said, we do a lot more than that, obviously. Uh, we provide a very supportive community and uh, one that is absolutely fucking amazing. And the reason that I have sacrificed, sacrificed a lot of my time and everything in my life is specifically geared toward helping those that are here at Evolve. That is my, that's what I do. That is not even a sacrifice anymore. It is, it's my passion. It's, it's, it's my love. But, you know, I do go to bed early. I do wake up at four o'clock so I could show up here at 5 a.m. I do forego a lot of the party, the scenes. I, I don't, I don't do any of that stuff. I don't so that I can be here. That's a sacrifice I make because I am passionate about my craft. Now, let me dumb this down a little bit. And I don't want to say dumb this down. Well, I did just say that. Um, I want to get more to the point. Um, we were in, there was a couple of brand new individuals in Shred. And um, they were very worried about certain caloric restrictions that were being implemented because they had not done it before and so normally the process within shred obviously um uh, uh, we call it the phoenix method i call it the phoenix method the three foundational principles are movement an hour a day you have to move an hour a day second thing is you have to be accountable for the food that you eat and within that we have certain protocols that i do on a weekly basis and that's where the caloric restrictions mandatory caloric restrictions for a group that is losing weight and some individuals call it intermittent fasting. Some individuals just call it calorie restriction, Some whatever it is. I call it just a mandatory caloric restriction that is guided and that we do. Okay. So within that, and the third principle is accountability. And then the fourth and fifth, we don't have to go into that. But the second principle of what I'm talking about when I implement on a weekly basis as a group within Shred, I mandate certain calorie count for everybody on a daily basis. And yes, it is an intermittent fast, but what I do, I don't do it, I do it periodically. So we don't do it every single day. Now, some individuals are very strict with it, but not me. I, I, what I want to do, it, I, I found that if I do a three-day caloric restriction, a two-day caloric restriction, a four-day caloric restriction on a weekly basis, people can maintain this and use this in their entire life. Now, getting to the point, I use a 500 calorie day. Yes, a 500 calorie day. Some people may argue that's a little extreme. Some people may argue all different kinds of weird shit out there, but it works. And there's a lot of science behind it. And honestly, 500 calories is not going to kill you, especially just within one day. And it helps kickstart the weight loss journey. And with that said, with that said, there is a shitload of sacrifice that has to occur in order for you to accomplish a 500 calorie day. If you cook for your kids, if you cook for your husband, if you have lunch plans, if you have dinner plans, if you have, you know, if pizza is being delivered to the office, if you have snacks at your desk, sorry, no, there's one meal, 500 calories, you plan it. And you sacrifice the rest. That's it. That's it. There's there's no gray whatever. Now, if you have diabetes, if you have some weird disease that, you know, that if you're one of the 1% that's weird as hell, um, not poking fun at you, then you have to talk to me. And you have to talk to the nutritionist. You have to talk to the licensed medical professionals. Some of this may not be just carte blanche, but for the vast majority of you. If you have one or two days of great mandatory caloric restrictions, you're going to do phenomenal. Now, see, 
my belief is that small, isolated, sacrifice, sacrificial days are much better than going on this 180-day cleansing diet where you can't eat this and you can't eat that and you can't do this and you can't do that. Can you imagine? That's why people fall off the fucking wagon. So the deal is this. You isolate these sacrificial days to where you have one or two a week. Then you come back to a normal threshold to where, you know, if you're at 1,500 calories, 2,000 calories, you and I can absolutely discuss this or you and your nutritionist. Or if you're on like my fitness pal that helps, there's algorithms that will help you figure out your metabolic rates um, throughout the day to where your baseline caloric intake should be in order to maintain weight. There, there's a lot of different ways you can figure it out. More than likely, though, just talk to me. But for the most part, if you maintain that and you eat whatever the heck you want. So if you are if you have 2,000 calories that are within your baseline to where you maintain and you go out and you have two apple fritters at 500 calories and then you have a, a margarita and you have like a burrito. That's it. That's all you got to eat. I didn't tell you you're not going to eat it. Don't get me wrong. I don't promote that kind of shit. But. 2,000 calories, 2,000 calories. And if there's a reason that you need the margarita, if there's a reason you need that donut, then do it, right? If it's a celebration or if you're having a damn stressful day and you just need to get it out, go for it. Get it out of your system. Just get it done. I would prefer that you only do that every now and again. But for the most part, if you have 2,000 calories, learn to eat healthy. Learn learn, learn the process of, you know, shopping on the outside of the of the shopping uh of the food store, right? Um, learn how to use good veggies, good meats. 2,000 calories is a lot of calories. 1,500 is a lot of calories. And actually, a meal at 500 calories, when you have good, efficient fuel, you can eat a lot and get pretty filled up. But those that is the sacrifice you have to make. And I try to isolate it within two to three days in order to do this and during the weekdays when you're working, Okay. Then, if you maintain your calories throughout, you don't really have to be so sacrificial. You can still have a glass of wine on a Friday night on a hot date. You can still have a Sunday morning breakfast burrito with your husband or your wife. You can still have a cupcake or a, a, a small popcorn at the movie theater. That is what you sacrifice small points of time throughout the weekday, and then you can live normal within reason throughout the rest if you are on a weight loss journey. That is my belief. Also, guys, you have to sacrifice your time too. Come on. You have to show up. Yeah, that alarm is going to hit. And that alarm is going to say, get your ass to the gym. Get your ass to the gym. Or uh, right after work. Yeah, that couch is calling. You know, a cold beer is calling. But you have to sacrifice that. You have to earn it. You have to sacrifice that time. But listen, that time, though, is an investment. And you got to change that part of your thinking process. It's an investment for the rest of your life. I heard the other day, and I want to I look up this science. This is really kind of an interesting science. For every hour that you spend on your body, cardiovascular, weight training, you add an extra three hours of quality life to, you, to, to your life. So every, you, get, you get a one, a one to three return. You get a three to one return on that hour that you spent with quality of life moving forward. I'm going to look that science up. That'll be my next podcast. But that is the sacrificial aspect of a weight loss journey or a fitness journey. You got to sacrifice the time, but that really isn't. You got to change that into an, to an investment. But what you do have to sacrifice, though, guys, is the eating. The eating is sacrificial. You, got, you just got to do it. There, there's no if, ands, or buts. You just got to freaking do it. Bite the bullet, do the 500, two to three days out of the week, and then come back to a normal caloric range, and you're going to start losing the weight. I promise you. So if you want more information on that, reach out. Let's set up 505-591-4700. 505-591-4700. Text or call. Have a great day. From my RTRs, remember, start strong, stay strong. Always be evolving up more strong. Later, team.